This is my how-to on how to build a model rocket. First, this Athena is a good starter rocket. And if you want to use this for references to building your own model rocket. It already comes assembled. And you can see the different stages of the rocket to get familiar with it. And all of the parts are already there. So if you want a copy of them, this is a good first rocket. First you're going to choose from a variety of tubes to make your rocket out of. This narrow one is from clear wrap. This is paper towel. This is a, a poster container. And this is like a clear fluorescent tube. When you picked out your tube, you have to make some motor mounts so they'll fit in there. So what you do is trace the tube first. Then in the inside of it, you'll trace the rocket size. And then cut two of them out like that. This piece is to keep the motor from going up into the rocket or shooting out of it. And you make that out of a coat hanger. Just cut it with a, kind of like those metal cutters. Like this. And it'll look like this when it's in the rocket. This is what the motor mounts will look inside of it. They take up the other space. And the metal part there. You want to measure that part, this whole size of the rocket. So it doesn't shoot this way. And the back part, you just want it to where it goes over that cardboard part. So it doesn't thrust out this way. Then for your nose cone, the best are these Easter eggs. They come, I got a pack at Five Below or Big Lots that had three different sizes. And either side, this one or the other one, will usually fit some sort of tube. For the nose cone, that small Easter egg fit on there really good. For the fins, you can pretty much pick out any size you want, as long as they're the same size. This is an older fin from a rocket. I just traced it. And then after you cut it out, this is a thin cardboard. So it's more aerodynamic. I cut them out, and then you tape up the edges to look like that. So this is what the fins look like. You want to get them like that, and the best way to do it is to do four. It's more stable and it's easy to kind of just eyeball it instead of measuring. And I, it always works good for me, it never goes out of control or anything. Then you're going to need a parachute. So you take one of your existing parachutes, flatten it out like that, and then this material plastic table cover I got at dollar store and it's good and it's orange so I trace this on there and there is six sides then you get your string I got this at a dollar store too and you measure it once and then twice the length, six times, and cut it out. This is how my parachute looked like. I just put some scotch tape over where I tied it on so it doesn't rip. Then for the shock cord, I just get a regular rubber band, cut it one way. And here's the shock cord, rubber band. I tie the parachute in the middle of it. You can tie it at the end. But it works good for me this way. And inside, that's what it'll look like when you glue 
the shock cord inside of the rocket. Scotch tape with glue. It's good enough for a couple times. You'll probably have to replace it, but this is just a, a quick, fun rocket. This is what the whole thing will look like internally. And if you have to refer to anything, this Estes Athena is a good reference. Or you could always ask me a question. Now I just gotta paint them both. These fins and a lot of everything else I use, I just use a glue gun because the it's strong enough. If you have to replace it, you replace it. They're pretty sturdy anyway. You can use a straw to glide on your your launch uh, your launch pole. This is a Starbucks straw, and you can just use a glow stick from a hot glue gun. That works fine. And I forgot to mention your metal coat hanger part that holds the motor in. You glue that down too. And if you want to reload it, you just the glue comes off easy and you can reload it. Okay, you just saw me how to build this. Now we're gonna launch it. 